What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this Borderlands 3 video. The reason why I'm making this one is because I want to make more players aware of this really, really awesome side mission that gains us access to Handsome Jack's secret chambers. And inside here, there is a really interesting backstory that I think a lot of Borderlands players will appreciate. Okay, so first things first, this side mission will spawn on the planet Pandora at Conrad's Hold. It will be located at the very bottom of the map here. It can be kind of confusing getting over here if you don't really know the map too well, because you have to jump across a bridge and work your way into the Chapel of Unheard Prayers, and then you're going to want to work your way through the mines. I mean, I don't know. It is a pretty long stretch from the spawn point. But eventually when you're down here, you'll come across this door, and in order to open this door, you're going to have to start the side mission called Childhood's End. As you see the description for it reads, Some broken things never get fixed. Alrighty, so let's begin. Once again, this is very interesting. When you start this side mission, you're able to open up this door. That's a portrait of Handsome Jack, before he became the torturing, mass-murdering CEO of Hyperion. Back when he was just a coder, a husband, and soon-to-be father of the aforementioned Angel. There's a hidden chamber behind that portrait. You'll have to move it out of the way. So as you can see, this is Handsome Jack with his wife before Angel was even born. I know it is distressing to touch things with human faces, believe me, I know. But you'll have to move the portrait if you want to continue. But behind this, this is the entrance to his secret chamber, which reveals some very interesting information over his family and why he did what he did. Let's go ahead and enter this secretive area. Don't worry. That button is perfectly disinfected. I never even touch it with my hands. <laughs> with her hands. Anyways, behind this picture, as you can see, there's a button we can press. This will gain us access to his secret chamber. From our findings in the vault, I believe sirens are able to imbue memories into physical objects. It may not even be a conscious effort. I recovered one of Angel's childhood toys. Start there. You are looking for a stuffed toy Thracian tetra bear. Just as cuddly as the real thing, minus the neurotoxic claws. So here's Angel's little bear. Captain Bear, who is a bear? He is a bear, Captain Bear. Hey Angel, and who is this guy? Captain Bear, he eats crime. Oh, he must be eating a lot with that big belly, huh? Angel, darling, what, what's that on your arm? Did you do that? Blue. I don't know where it came from. Do you think it's pretty? Yeah, sweetheart, it's, it's real pretty. Hey, honey, can you get in here for a minute? I was correct. That was a memory from when Angel's powers first manifested. There are other items she might have interacted with. Look for an old vending machine. This is crazy. So basically, we're just recovering memories from objects. And as you just heard there, that was Handsome Jack's reaction over when Angel's powers were just first manifesting. He was definitely surprised. This is a very interesting side mission. Let's go ahead and head on over to this vending machine. Oh, Angel, sweetheart, I'm sorry I didn't see you standing there. Uh, don't say any of those words that Daddy said, okay? Okay. Is the machine broken? Yeah, looks like no candy for us. Hey, why don't you go back into the waiting room with Mommy, darling? Huh? The doctor's gonna be here any minute, okay? I think I can fix it. What the hell did you just do, Angel? Like most sirens, it seems using her powers became instinctual soon after acquiring them. She had no concept of what a phase shift even was, only that she could talk to machines, and more importantly, that they listened to her. There should be a turret somewhere in the room. Find that next. Let me get rid of these weapons. I feel like it's more appealing that way for the viewers. Oh, what's this?
Hmm. Mr. Gun, Daddy, me. And it looks like some kind of monster. Okay, yeah, getting a little sidetracked. Okay, so I gotta pick up this and then insert it into this. And voila, we have access now. Okay, I'm gonna have to get out some weapons. Go and meet death. Let's go ahead and get up top here and press this button. There it is. Simply touch it to trigger the memory. Just give us back our daughter, okay? Are you kidding? She's a freaking siren. I'm gonna be a trillionaire. You and your wife get out of here before I sick my turrets on you. Forget the kid. Go make another one. No, I wanna go home. Shut up, kid, or I'll pick. What the? Oh, so that's what that picture's about. girl's scars run deep there's one more artifact look for a hyperion communication satellite that is crazy so angel took out her own mother i don't think on purpose however but handsome jack is definitely upset about it without a doubt this picture is really cool looking of angel and her new friends oh no <laughs> that did the trick No can do, my sweet little angel. You're in that chair for your own good, okay? You're such an asshole! Language! Look, sweetheart, I can't let you out because of what you did to your mother, okay? I just couldn't bear it if something else happened to you. I didn't mean to. Shh, I know, darling. That's why you need to stay in that chair. But I got you something. That chair is connected to the entire Hyperion network. Now you can see through every satellite we own around every planet in the sky. You've got the best view in the whole universe from that chair. We're gonna work together. You and me, kiddo. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. I love you, Angel. I love you too, Dad. Angel spent most of her life chained to Hyperion technology. With those memories, I think I have enough to fix the water purifier now. Go to Roland's rest, and I will attempt to interface with it. Man, this is actually really sad. And these drawings are now starting to make more sense. How she used the Mr. Gun to take out the monster, and this one as well over here on the wall. This is deep. Like, this is actually pretty... I feel bad for Handsome Jack. Never thought I'd say that. He lost his wife, he got betrayed by his daughter and girlfriend. Not so much on purpose for his daughter though. And then he lost his daughter and then he had to die. I mean, sheesh. The real question is, why did he exactly decide to lock up his daughter? Was it to protect her or to use her? I mean, I don't know. I mean, obviously he was using her but I think he might have been also protecting her. I think he did still love her, 
just in his mind, he thought he was doing something that was righteous. I mean, I don't know. I would love to know what y'all's thoughts are about all of this. This gets really deep. Let's carry on with this side mission, though. Let's go ahead and finish it up. Now we have to head on over to Roland's Rest at Devil's Razor. Executing phase shift. Ah, all this makes much more sense now. Angel's memories did indeed contain the information I required. It seems the Hyperion water purifier had a planned obsolescence chip inside it. I'll simply override it and we can be done with this water chip nonsense. We did it, Vault Hunter! And all it took was reliving the traumatic childhood of a fallen angel. Let Vaughn know his water purifier is working once again. You got the water working again! That's awesome! Water slide city, baby! Ooh, slick, wet, shiny, glistening. Oh yeah, also, uh, no one's dying of thirst, so that's pretty good too. And after you complete this side mission, you get a unique shield called Loop of Angel. Obviously, this is a reference to Handsome Jack's daughter. As you see, the flavor text for it reads, Executing Phase Shift. And what's special about this is that it reduces your cooldown for your action skill when your shield is depleted. As you can see, it does go up pretty fast. I had to share this with you all in case some of you didn't see it. I thought this would be something good to spotlight for the community. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. Thanks for taking the time watching and listening. If you found this enjoyable, consider leaving a like. And hey, maybe if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance and sticking around and subscribing. As always, though, all of that is totally up to you. Until next time, everyone. Peace.